Mr. Bigley! Hey there guys and gals, it's Gerbigly with another episode of Gaming with Gerbigly. I'm starting a brand new series. I got this on Steam Summer Sale and I'm so excited to play it. I've been waiting for a while. It's a game called Always Sometimes Monsters and you might have seen some other people play it. Uh, my friend Zenbear is playing it right now. You should check out her playthrough of it. And uh, my friend Entu in the Pack is also playing it and uh, they're both, um, I think, pretty deep into the game. I've done my best to avoid all information about this game because I was so excited to play it. Um, it's made in the RPG Maker engine. It's not a horror game despite the title, uh, but it is sort of a social commentary with some horror elements in the sense that uh, I guess the entire purpose of the game is to prove that within all of us, uh, based on our decisions, it has branching uh, storylines based on the decisions you make. Uh, all of us end up doing horrible, morally gray things. Uh, sometimes, you know, we'll, we'll do something we think is right, but it ends up having horrific consequences. I think that's the gist of the game. Like I said, I haven't ruined anything for myself playing this, or uh, looking at other people's playthroughs of this, or even trying it out until now. Uh, I'm really excited to get started. People have told me that they really um, think this game is awesome. So let's go ahead and get uh, going with this. I'm, I'm pumped. I, I love that it's RPG aesthetic. It was made by um, Vagabond Dog and released by Devolver Digital. Uh, they're both awesome companies. I dig them both. Um, Oh, cool. Awesome. So there's uh, these sprites, these custom sprites, and then there's also these custom uh, talking uh, faces. Uh, I forgot what these are called, these little face-out things where it's like a close-up of the character. All right. Stop. Wait. Where the hell do you think you're running off to without me? I'm the boss, so you don't make a move until I tell you what to do. Huh. Got it. What a jerky boss. Tell him that you quit. Oh, sand's in his pocket. I thought I told you already. Once I'm paid, then we're through. I don't need you controlling me anymore. I, I love the soundtrack, by the way. It's awesome. It's like, it's almost like 80s funky, uh, I don't know. It's just, it's cool. I like it. I dig it. It's really awesome. No, you ain't finished working yet. There's plenty of people I still need killed. Oh, so they're like mobster type folks. I, I had a feeling when he had his hand in his pocket, that he's like holding a gun or something. You don't need to get... Or you don't get a say in anything until I decide you're done spilling blood. You check that privilege at the door when you signed up for this job. Here I make the rules. Here I decide what happens. That's what you signed up for, right? What you gonna do, dude? Am I the guy? Oh, I'm moving. I'm the guy, uh, I'm this guy. Hi. Look, if it's more money you want, all you've gotta do is ask for it. Name your price, I'll pay it. Whatever it takes to knock some sense back into your head. I don't want any more of your money. I already have more than I need. Why can't you understand why someone might not want to do this anymore? Oh, I'm, I'm ticked. I'm mad. Just listen to me, Dad. Like it. Okay, so there's not like a menu or anything. Oh, I'm walking away. Hey, what did I just tell you? You ain't going nowhere, or you ain't going anywhere unless I say so. I said nowhere because I thought it was going to be all like mobstery. I should be talking in like a, like a Godfather accent. What happens if I go this way? Oh, nothing. Okay. I guess it's uh, it's telling me I gotta walk away from him. Sorry, man. I, I changed my mind. I am still gonna quit after all. See ya. It's hard to quit the mob, I hear. I hear they try to whack you so that you don't leak the family secrets. I don't know anything about it, to be honest. I, I look up stuff, like, online. I read, like, stories from, like, like that gangster period, like, the Prohibition period, especially, like, really fascinates me. But, you know, who knows what actually went down. Uh, it's, it's, it's really cool stuff, though. Um... I'm telling you, you're making a mistake. Don't do something we'll all regret. I'm walking away. I'm walking away, man. You can't tell me what to do. Oh, who's this guy? Hi, dude with a with a hat and scarf on. Excuse me, sirs. Got a minute or a dollar? Hard times all around. Oh, so he's a bum asking for some money. Smelly vagabond. Fuck. Or oh, vagabond. Fuck. Wow, that's mean. Dude, just off the. Wow. <laughs> You first, you meet the guy, and that's what you're gonna call him right away. Get the hell out of my way. We don't have anything for you. Oh, I've heard that one before. Probably, probably from you too. Different day, different street. Who knows? Maybe we used to know each other. Huh, can you imagine that? Winding up back here again. Goddamn schizo! Are you fucked in the head? Get the hell out of my way. I had no idea the language was going to be this strong right off the bat. It's like a Quentin Tarantino film. Sweet. 
Right, we gotta keep things moving along. Before you go though, there's something I think you ought to take a look at. <gasps> what the hell is this? Well, you might say, I've been expecting you. Oh man, can't believe we pulled a gun. Uh, it's, we're gonna have ourselves a Mexican standoff. Does it feel familiar standing on this end of the barrel? Or do you feel more comfortable with your own piece drawn? Go ahead, I'll wait. Damn, yeah, it's like a Quentin Tarantino film. It's like freaking crazy, this is awesome. That's right, aim it right between my eyes. What the hell do you want, you nut job? What do I want? I like playing games, don't you? I love playing games. I'm playing a video game right now. It's sweet. What do you say to giving, uh, giving mine a spin? I don't know what this fool is smoking, but if he doesn't put that gun down right now, you put a hole in his head. Of course. You can hurry this along if you like, and we can all be done with it if you wish. Like any of this matters anyway. I want to tell you a story, though. One about the many choices we all make. At the end of it, you can decide what to do. The only rule in the game? Let me finish. No interruptions. Then the choice is yours. Or we can pull the trigger right now. Sounds a lot less time-consuming, doesn't it? Either way, the choice is always yours. Oh, I get a choice. <laughs> I can... Okay, so I can shoot him right off the bat or listen. Um... God, I want to find out what happens if I click shoot. I know listen's going to be the right choice, but I got to shoot him. I got to shoot him. Sorry, guys. Oh, man. Shit. Okay, so he just shoots him straight up. <laughs> How predictable. I'll see you in another life, my friend. That the end. That win? Every story ends. Was this how it was supposed to happen? Oh, my God. That was the ending of the freaking game. Okay. Um, if I hit continue, does it just it bring me back to... Ah, oh, damn, it starts it all over again. Okay, we'll just skip through the dialogue super quick then. Ah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Stop. Actually, guys, I'm going to jump ahead real quick so that you guys don't have to see this all again. See you in a second. And we're back. Sorry about that, guys. Let's listen to the guy this time instead of just shooting him in the face. <laughs> if you won't put that, uh, put that gun down, fine. Talk fast. Awesome. Okay. There are many roads between yours and mine, but all roads start from the source. The source. You ever been dragged to a party or, uh, by someone? What if that party was life itself, led by the nose, barely wanting to take part? Did you even have the choice not to go? It would take something miraculous to change you. I've been dragged to parties like that. It's, yeah, man, it's kind of the worst. But sometimes it leads to a fun adventure. Maybe that's the point of what the game is trying to say right now. Maybe we should just listen. I'm sorry, I just talk a lot. <laughs> but would you know the opportunity when it knocked? Oh yeah, see, it's, it's totally what it's saying. Fair weather friends are sometimes hard to sort. A man with opportunity to spare knows this best. One such man of opportunity threw a party. He was looking for someone special, important. Not a lover, not a friend. He was looking for someone of substance. It's an issue I often have. I just want to find someone with some substance. Come on, guys. Um, whether it was the right choice or not, that's still up for debate. That night, they toasted ambition, success, and more. Little did they know how steep the mountain was. Oh, the color's coming back. Cool. Oh, I'm, I'm this dude. I'm a guy. What up? Come on, hurry up. Or did you change your mind? Can't invite all these people over and just leave me to take care of them, Larry. They're all weird. Why can't you have more normal friends? They're all work friends. Writers, artists, wannabes. You know, like the one I was telling you about. Boss wants me to sign someone by next week, but I still haven't got a clue what I'm looking for. Well, just pick someone who's gonna do a good job. I don't want you getting fired over some fuck-up. This apartment's way too nice for that. Yeah, okay, I love you too. <laughs> okay, uh, let's talk to some ladies. Uh, some men? Some ladies? Some kitties! Let's talk to some kitties! Meow! Hmm, nice kitty. Oh, who's this lady with the hair? Oh, cool! Shades! Hey, you're the host of this party, right? Yeah, I am. Can I get you anything? Well, I was wondering if you had any unoccupied bedrooms around here. Uh, I don't think so. Why? Oh. No, definitely not. Oh, never mind. Dark F's bringing, or brought his van anyway. Great! Uh, have fun? At ho! <laughs> oh, I will. It's not a party until someone has sex in a van outside of it. 
Larry, congratulations. I heard about the new job. Well, there's still a lot to do. Nonsense. Let's toast to your success. Can I interest you in some white wine? I'll only be having one drink tonight. Oh, you're boring, Larry. White wine does, does sound lovely, though. I can toast. Yeah, let's toast. All right, let's drink. Give me a second to run to the patio. There's someone I want you to meet. Always happy to meet the ball and chain. <laughs> Don't go anywhere, Larry. I'll be back from the patio before you know it. Oh, oh, now I'm her. Oh, cool. Okay, patio time. Who are uh, what? Uh, who am I supposed to pick? Oh, there's. A, let's pick the doggy. Woof woof. I'm a doggy. Okay. Um. This. Oh, this chick with the shades. She looks cool. Hey, did you get a chance to talk to Larry yet? Yeah, I just spoke to him. He's waiting on me. He's waiting on us. Yeah, sure. We're waiting on us. He's waiting on us. We're going to toast that bottle we brought. That's amazing. What are you waiting for? This is a perfect opportunity to bring up that book you and Sam were working on. Do you think Sam will mind me pitching our book alone? I mean, I'd be kind of pissed if I was left out of the negotiations. You can worry about that later. If you don't get in there and butter him up now, uh, you two will be drafting forever. I guess you're right, but we gotta make it happen first. Come on, you got the gift? Shit, we forgot to sign the card. Here, give it to me. I'll sign it first. Uh, her name is gonna be... Your name is gonna be... Uh, what should we name her? What should we name her? Toaster Cake. Toaster Cake. Her name's Toaster Cake. That's a good name. Everyone likes Toaster Cake. I don't know what Toaster Cake is. That's your name. Okay, my turn. Your name is... I... Die. Oops. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Um, your name is... Belinda, because why not? It just thought of one of the most obscure female names ever. Sorry if you're named Belinda out there. You're not obscure. You're nice. You're cool. You're unique. You're a special snowflake, just like this Belinda. Cheers, Belinda and Toaster Cake. <laughs> Let me see that for a second. Oh, uh, yeah, sounds perfect. All right, Belinda, let's go. Wait, kiss me first. Oh, wow, hot. Totally hot. The hottest RPG Maker game on the market. They totally kiss. So they're a couple. They're a pair. Take that Tomodachi life with your non-gay couples. <laughs> oh, man. Cool. Always sometimes monsters. So we got our two characters, our, our Toaster Cake and Belinda, which totally makes sense. <laughs> what am I doing with my life? Who am I? <laughs> I don't know. So Larry, before we toast... Let me guess, you've got a book you wanted to pitch. <gasps> Larry knows that he's always being used. Just hear me out. No need, Toaster Cake. There's a reason I'm toasting with you. I've seen your stuff. You've got talent, a lot of potential, but you're rough. I want to put a good word in with the boss. See if we can get you an advance. <gasps> that's, that's crazy. Seriously, thank you so much. I'll get you something to show him in the morning. This is too exciting. Let's toast. That's toaster cake, toaster cake, toast, to I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> to ambition, to success, to getting rich. <laughs> I'll toast. Great partners, the world domination, uh, to the future, to not screwing up. Uh, let's do to the future. To the future, everyone likes that one. It's nice and generic. It really didn't matter who set things in motion. The landslide, had, the landslide had started long before that night. This version of the story needed a hero though. Would this be the one? What happens if I click no? Is there like another story I'd go to? Let's go to, let's click yes. I, I'm, I'm already attached to Belinda and Toaster Cake and Larry and all those people. One year later. Dubstown Apartment. It's like dub, dubstep apartment. Okay, I'm ruining the music, sorry. <laughs> all right. Art by Emilio Maya. Hey, listen, I'm sleeping, asshole. Stop knocking on my door. Tate Nucleus? That's someone's... Featuring Tate Nucleus? That's someone's name. I just saw it in the credits. Tate Nucleus. Choices and evaluation... I'm sorry, I just couldn't get over that name. Choices and evaluation of cost and benefit. Circumstance dictates the evaluation. Consequence takes care of the rest. 
In this system, there can be no right or wrong. Oh god, that makes me feel the worst. I'm so used to playing as like the good guy in games that like, um, when I make like a choice that ends up bad, it's it's bad for me. It makes me sad. What time did I get in last night? Shit! Looks like my Peeble sleep monitor got reset. Peeble sleep monitor? I gotta get to sleep when this thing tells me to. I was halfway to earning my one month uh, circadian master sleep achievement. <laughs> Let me just cycle through the modes and reset this thing. Uh, okay. Shit. What? Am, am I supposed to type stuff here? What is... I don't know what this, uh, what this is. I don't know what you're doing. Okay. <laughs> here we go, all set. They say the longest journey starts with a single step. Oh, I took a single step. I win. My journey started. Sweet, we're totally saving as Toaster Cake and Belinda. All right, we're going to save right here and right now because I think I'm about out of time, guys. Uh, but I hope that you guys enjoyed the episode. I certainly did. This game is already off to a cool start. 29 days late, or days left. What? Man, so I have to, I have to, I have time. I, I have to do stuff within a certain time. Oh, that scares me. I hate time games. I'm so bad at time management. Anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this episode, please be sure to hit the like button, share the video, favorite it. Also, be sure to subscribe to me if you guys haven't already. For those of you who have, thank you so much for all of your support. You guys are the best in the world. I love every single one of you, and as always, it was great seeing you. Bye-bye. Oh, I got a B-plus for my geography assignment. Son, please, shut up. If you'd want to talk, want to, to talk, just go ask your mother what we'll have for dinner, to diner tonight. <laughs> I'm assuming that's supposed to be dinner, but it wouldn't be an American game without some misspellings. Come on, guys. It's American. Yeah, spelling sucks. Yeah, shoot it with a gun. <laughs>